What's up everybody, Patina Pete. I decided to throw a bunch of stuff on eBay. I'm gonna run through what's on eBay and then we're gonna run through what else we have for sale that's not on auction. Starting with this 49 Ford cab over. And the best part about these auctions are they are no reserve. No buy it now, nothing. Absolute sale, they're gonna sell. In my mind, they, they're sold already. 49 Ford F6 cab over, flathead six cylinder, turns. Don't know if it runs. This one was misdiagnosed when we had it in the shop unfortunately so i think this one will run i think it just has low compression good title came out of nebraska really solid complete truck i put about a thousand bucks worth of trim on this one so this one's got the seats this one's got uh the steps all this hard to find cab over stuff doors are solid so pretty good truck here no reserve on ebay uh one thing to mention about these no reserve ebay sales ask your wife Ask, my, ask whatever questions you have for me. Ask for additional photos and video. Call me up, I'll send you whatever you want. Do all of that before you place a bid, please. 39, 40, one, two, one of those years. GMC six by six cab over. Not on eBay, not currently for sale. Just wait, we're gonna get this one in the shop. I think this one's gonna run and drive. And this is gonna be our big YouTube video. So keep an eye out for that one. 56 Ford F100, uh, not on auction. Uh, really only because I don't want to have too much on there. So we're going to let these couple that are on eBay cook and complete first. And then I'm out of town next week. So we're going to let that stuff happen. And then we'll see where we're at. I might put this one on eBay. Might not. I'm kind of really attached to this one. So 7500 bucks, Good title. Patina, you cannot beat in a half ton short bed F100. And this thing is just destined for a Coyote swap or an LS swap or whatever because the truck is, is aesthetically awesome. That is as good as it gets for baby blue and white and rust patina, so. And it's a 56, it's a one year only cap. 64 Ford Econoline, heavy duty, which is very rare. Even more rare, this is a factory four speed on the column, which a lot of you have probably never heard of, like myself. Heavy duties had bigger brakes, Ford nine inch rear end. This one came out of Colorado. It's a, a very, very solid truck. Runs, drives, stops. We did new brakes, we did new fuel tank, lines, yada yada, with uh, new tires and a little bit of TLC. I think we got the lights working and everything. Could use some seat upholstery, but with tires, seat upholstery, and some time in a small town on some back roads shaking it out, you got a driver here. On eBay, no reserve. The big GMC here. So this was the hardest truck I ever had to recover it was all locked up it has since been all loosened up and now rolls and steers this one here we have featured this model truck on youtube quite a few times so there's really no need to film it because it's going to be a little repetitive so on this one we're going to sell it as is and i'm going to sell it really cheap 5500 bucks with a title and we can deliver it 5500 bucks good title she's ready to go 59 GMC 100 half ton short box 276 cylinder. We did not do the brakes on this truck. So this one runs and drives in the yard. Still needs brakes, still needs rust work. Good title, Western truck, cool patina. No reserve on eBay. 1950 Chevy half ton short box. Motors in it, motors incomplete. Motors shot. Really nice solid truck out of Kansas. Complete otherwise. Exceptionally solid cab. Let's show them the floors. She's got the overswung door damage, kind of typical. Floors in this thing are awesome. Cab corners are beautiful. Running boards are nice. The patina's uniform on it. It's just a factory Chevy green. No reserve on eBay. This is an excellent opportunity to get into an AD truck cheap. This thing's probably gonna sell for like five year ago pricing. Really good opportunity to get you an AD truck if that's what you're into. Same thing with the GMC or the Econoline. You're gonna be buying these things at like five year ago pricing because it's no secret. The antique car market took a hit. Inflation, election, whatever it is, people just have less money to spend. That's not gonna keep me from selling anything. We're gonna let her rip. Take advantage of this opportunity. Like they say, you're supposed to buy when everybody's scared. Not any less of you know an appreciation for an advanced design truck right now. It's just people have less money to spend. So I'm gonna put these out, no reserve. Take advantage of the opportunity to buy this thing cheap, like it was five years ago. Everybody says, oh, the truck's only worth 35, 4,500 bucks. Well, that's probably what it's gonna bring, so don't miss the opportunity. Good title on that one. This one here, so this one here, 52 Ford F1, runs and drives. 
Flathead 6 runs awesome. It's been sitting underneath the carport for a month. And if Shane wouldn't have moved it, we wouldn't have found out about a big old hornet's nest in it. We've neutralized the hornets. No more hornets. No reserve on eBay. This one's sitting around 3200 bucks right now on eBay. Good title on it. We can ship any of these anywhere. We can export them anywhere. I will be out of town. If you want to come get it while I'm out of town, Shane will be around to facilitate that. If we can wait until after August 3rd, that would be ideal, but we can work all of those particulars out. The trucks can sit here basically on a deposit until I return. So it's not like you got to put all the money up. You just got to put all the money up before we ship the truck or you take delivery. Let's walk a little bit and see what else we got here. You can't buy my S10. Everybody always wants to buy the S10. The S10 is not for sale. It's everybody's favorite truck around here. All right, so here's the 65 Fastback we picked up locally. We're still in the process of working on this motor. We haven't even been in the car yet. The motor was out of the car, and right now we're still tinkering with it. The motor is good, and it kind of needs a cylinder head job to make it like run. The bottom end's good, the heads are really dirty. So we found a local guy that loves what we do, and he's a retired engine builder. He still has this machine shop, so I think we're gonna give him the heads to clean up and deck them for us. So this one's kind of on hold for right now. We got this S10 swap truck. I'm not like crazy in a hurry to sell this because I love the truck and Henry Panza made us an S10 swap kit custom for Iron City Garage. All the inlays say, uh, overlay, overlays rather, all the overlays say Iron City Garage. We're just really excited about it. We've just been kind of jamming uh, despite the uh, kind of dip in the market. We've still been staying really busy. So this one I would sell. If anybody wants this thing for, with the S10 kit, it's already on an S10 frame. All the parts here are here. This is, a California truck, so she's solid. Look at the bottom of that door. Weep holes are still in it, no rod holes. Really, really cool truck. If anybody wants this, I would take 4,500 bucks for it. Like I said, on the S10 frame, has title, comes with the kit from Henry Panza that is, uh, I think the kit's $1,200, so it's gonna come with that. 4,500 will buy you this, and we can deliver that uh, if we had to export it, probably got to throw it together, but yeah. Okay, uh, this Dodge here. This here, I don't know what else to say other than it's rusty. It's from Pennsylvania. It is complete. All the stuff's in the bed and it's cheap. It's 2,500 bucks. We just have not had time to get it in the shop and throw it together. So got that one there. Uh, the little Cushman deal over here belongs to one of my best friends. The little Cushman trucks are 800 bucks. We got that front end over there you could buy 800 bucks uh big big awesome 1940 cadillac front end back there is i don't know 400 bucks okay so hopefully you guys saw the awesome youtube videos we put out so we had the uh kind of retrieval video right that was like the oh look at all the hornets in there now we took a god damn dude if i get stung today i'm gonna be pissed i'll handle the hornets uh anyways 68 fastback we're gonna stand over here because i don't want to get stung by a hornet today 68 fastback c code it's got a 74 maverick 302 in it runs and drives it's rusty but it's a 68 fastback got the marty report on it got title on it you can see all of our videos and content on it really give you an idea about the car if you're a fastback buyer fastback restorer and you're interested in the car get a hold of me 412-335-6100 just call me up if you got an idea what these things go for, then you know you understand. I hate putting the price out because nobody understands about a fastback. They don't really understand the difference between a coupe and a fastback or any of the particulars about fastback parts and rarity and condition and pricing and yada yada. Got this Chevy cab. I'm into this thing for 800 bucks. I would like to get close to 800 bucks. It is an early cab. It's uh, 47, eight. Yeah, 4748, no gas filler. It's not that solid. It'd be a good rat rod cab. 800 bucks or close to it. Got that Ford cab over cab over there, which is really rare. You don't ever really see a cab over cab loose. Um, so we have that. I paid 900 for that like five years ago. I'd like to get 900 for it. And I have a whole front clip that's on the roof of one of these two containers. I have a 48950 front clip. You can take them both for two grand. Take a little hit there, but I never did anything with it. I bought it thinking I was going to need the parts. So 48,950 front end looks like what's over there. And I have the hood too. So you'd be able to put a complete cab over together for 
for two grand. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed our yard walk. We really appreciate everybody supporting us. It's uh, very important right now, more than ever, because the market's kind of dipped. If you guys could please just hit subscribe on YouTube, helps us out tremendously. What is it, like 6% of our views are subscribers? So we're getting millions of views, only 6% are actually subscribers. We just hit 70,000 on YouTube, so if you could hit subscribe, that helps us tremendously. Hit like, share the videos, that's all free. No credit card necessary, nothing like that. You just have to have a Google account hooked to your YouTube account and you just hit boop, subscribe. Helps us out a lot. Uh, we just hit 400,000 on Instagram, so thank you everybody for that. It's an amazing milestone that we're really proud of. You guys watching is making that all possible. So that's it. Check out our auctions. Check out the rest of the social media. We got a lot of cool things coming up. When I get back from out of town, we're going to get another Fastback Mustang. Two of them, actually. I bought a 67 Fastback, a 65 Fastback, and a Ford Bronco first gen. So lots of cool stuff coming out of that same location. I don't even know how many I bought yet. 6970 Fastbacks, which are going to be new for me. I typically stay away from those because they're not really my cup of tea. But these are really rough cars, more like bodies, shells, parts, roofs, titles, whatever. Uh, but we're going to get them and we're going to bring them back. So keep an eye out for that. We also might be going to look at an E-Type Jaguar here tomorrow. I got the 60 Impala coming in tomorrow. We got a 60 Impala wagon getting dropped off today. Lots of stuff going on here at Iron City Garage. Thanks for watching. Don't miss any of this cool stuff coming out. Hey, thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have cars like these in your garage, if you have a fastback Mustang or convertible Impala, a nice original paint pickup truck or an old cab over truck, and you want to sell it, I'd love to try and put a deal together with you. You can get a hold of me at 412-335-6100. We pay excellent prices. We pay finder's fees. You know, it's no secret. We do make a little money on the YouTube video, so that allows me to pay, you know, sometimes market value or really good prices for these cars. We'd love to come out and drag it out of your barn. We'd love to film it. We'd love for you to be a part of that whole process. So if you have an original paint or an original old fastback mustang that needs work like these ones i have on my trailer or if you have an old pickup or again a convertible impala cab over truck whether it doesn't matter where you are we buy nationwide here in the united states all the way as far as california i've had stuff new mexico arizona oregon washington high desert stuff we love so or if you're in the east coast and it's a rusty mustang or a rusty convertible impala that is fine we typically don't buy many trucks on the east coast but i buy a lot of cars on the east coast if you have cab over parts also especially for these early fords i'd be interested in that and never hurts to send me an email or a text ironcitygarage at gmail.com you're welcome to send me an email or a text message probably the best you kind of get an instant answer that way 412-335-6100 i'd love to talk to you hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully we can make a deal on what you guys have on your farms or in your garages